The Assassination of John F. Kennedy, The Rise of Secret Service Presidential Protection. The innocence of a nation was shattered when three shots tore through the air at Dealey Plaza, assassinating the president, John F. Kennedy. The Secret Service, a federal law enforcement agency, had failed to protect JFK. Many investigations looked into what wrong, went wrong that day and what could have been done to prevent the assassination, as well as amplifying mistakes by the Secret Service. The tragic assassination of President John F. Kennedy on November 22, 1963, led to significant changes in Secret Service protocols. JFK was born on May 29, 1917. He was born into a political family with an ambitious father and a charismatic older brother, as well as eventually eight other siblings. Kennedy's early life was filled with many political involvements, eventually leading him to run for president. JFK was the Democratic nominee for president in 1960, where he ran against the Republican nominee Richard M. Nixon. Although polls showed that Nixon was in the lead for most of the campaign, a large turning point in the election was the first televised presidential debate. The debate attracted a great amount of publicity, and JFK made a better impression on most viewers. JFK won the election and was sworn in as the 35th president with Lyndon B. Johnson as his vice president. November 22, 1963. JFK was riding in a motorcade in Texas during a campaign visit. He was riding in a convertible that was carrying several important passengers, including himself, his wife, the go and the governor of Texas, John Connolly. At 12.30 p.m., JFK was assassinated. The bullet was fired by Lee Harvey Oswald, who had fired three shots from the Texas School Book Depository, where Oswald was a new employee there. Oswald missed his first shot, but JFK was struck by the second and third bullets. The presidential motorcade then immediately went to Parkland Memorial Hospital, and JFK was soon after pronounced dead. Two days after Oswald assassinated JFK, while he was being moved to jail on Life TV, Oswald was shot and murdered by Jack Ruby, a local nightclub owner. Many believed that Oswald didn't act alone, and as investigations ended, numerous conspiracies began. Many investigations went into what went wrong that day and what mistakes were made, especially by the Secret Service. The Secret Service didn't truly begin to expand into the immense operation that it is today until after Kennedy's assassination, which was an important turning point for them and their ability to keep the president safe. After the assassination, the Secret Service started to take a more aggressive approach to their work, which created numerous and greatly needed advancements. Increasing the size and staff of the Secret Service was necessary. During Kennedy's presidency, the budget was significantly lower than today's, with $5.5 million, whereas today is around $3 billion. Procedures in the Secret Service didn't change immediately, though. Many of the immediate changes were focused on direct security. One of the largest changes after the assassination of JFK was with Secret Service agent training. Today, Secret Service agents, on average, spend five to nine years working within the Secret Service on many rotations and details before even being able to work on the highest profile detail of protecting the president. In comparison, before the assassination, this process was much simpler before it being accepted into this role. Ground transportation rapidly evolved for the president after the JFK assassination. Now the president rides in a very armored limo nicknamed the Beast. The Beast is the most high-tech and secure presidential vehicle and is equipped with many safety features. However, most remain classified to ensure presidential security. Kennedy's limo was equipped with very little security features, especially compared to today's presidential vehicle. These changes improved the president's transportation security, but simultaneously separated the public, but for good reason. While improving security features on transportation, protection of former presidents and their families also changed. The president remains an influential figure and an important representation of the U.S. even after they've left office. Before JFK's assassination, former presidents and their families weren't granted protection after they've left the White House. Because of Kennedy's assassination, former presidential security was altered, with many laws changing over the span of many years to protect the president after they left. This eventually led up to when former President Obama signed the Former President's Protection Act of 2012. Everything that went wrong on the assassination day was amplified and it was important to the Secret Service to maintain their image and improve it. After President John F. Kennedy was assassinated on November 22, 1963, there were significant changes in Secret Service protocols. It is also important to note that many of the most significant and impactful lessons that the Secret Service has learned have been through bloodshed. The advances in presidential security remain an ongoing and continuous process, with many of the current protocols remaining classified at the highest levels to ensure successful continued protection. 
Kennedy's devastating assassination was the last successful presidential assassination, a piece of proof of the successful new advancements made.